Alright, so let's get right to it then. And it, I believe will be the last one, though I've said that a couple times now. Um, or at very least, this will be probably be the last one for tonight. Um, as I'll show you why in a minute once I get these off. But again, it's worth it to just take the time and do it right as opposed to just half assing it. Is if you half ass something, it'll end up looking half assed, and yeah, it's not a good idea. Principal building. These are the last two parts left. Now, this kit does come with a different sword, but with what I'm planning to do, I'm not going to use it. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice looking sword, but just for what I'm ultimately planning with this and a couple other kits, it wouldn't fit in with what I'm going for. Yeah. Alright, that should be the last little bit of sanding. And okay, let's now at least stick these here. And there. Now, at this point, uh, if you're just going to basically build it and do it that way, uh, you can apply the stickers that come with the kit and be done with it. But a couple things. A, as I said, I'm going to paint this, so I'm not going to use stickers as ultimately stickers really don't look that great but uh, another thing I am gonna have to do unfortunately specifically here on the head and if I can get them off not totally ah. here on the back of the legs I'm gonna fill in these areas as they are kind of well, they look tacky, and they don't. Basically, objective there being to fill them in and more or less get a uniform look. Now, as for the rest of the parts, for now, um, what you're gonna do if you're gonna paint it is you're gonna basically disassemble the kit from here and gonna do basically wash the parts. So. Uh, I'm not going to show that on screen, but I will we'll break them down and get them ready for painting part. Or, um, filling part, sorry. Alright, so now I'm ready to begin the filling process. Now, because of the size of this, more or less, in pr this unfinished part, essentially, is so deep, um, I can't use normal putty, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to use epoxy. So... One of the first things I'm going to do 
is take some rough sandpaper and just rough up the area where I'm going to put it as this will give the, the epoxy a little something else, a bit of an area to grab onto and more likely to get to stick and stay. I'm just going to, you don't have to be too perfect or as you just want to give it just a quick one over, give it just enough. Now, another thing I also noticed are on this are the, these little nubs. I can't, don't know if you can see on the camera or not, but on this kit, there's little nubs here on at the end of the little thing. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and just quickly cut them off as they're kind of don't serve any purpose and they are kind of tacky okay All right now that I got those again hit it again with some more sandpaper just to make sure and if you want to I'm not gonna hit it with the higher grit just yet only because since I am gonna be filling and sanding again it's kind of pointless to do that step at this stage alright so let's see now one preparatory step however that you have to do I'm gonna need to do prior since <clears throat> seeing how this part sits on this part now I want it so as to make sure I don't overdo it a little, and because of this void up here uh, right there between it and the rest of the helmet so I'm gonna have to do something to make sure that any epoxy putty I use doesn't stick to this part now for that you use this just your average petroleum jelly Right. So you just take a Q-tip, dip it in, get a decent amount on it, and then just very liberally apply it to any areas you don't want it to stick. Uh, at this point, uh, don't worry too much about this stuff getting on here as we're still going to wash the parts later. So any remaining petroleum jelly will just get removed at that point. Alright, now it looks like I'm just about time, so next part I'll start mixing the epoxy.